if you're on the hunt for an electric skateboard that feels like a premium product without the premium price tag, the Eason Wheel V10 will surprise you. Right out of the box, this board looks and feels like something you'd expect from a much higher price range. With a sleek design, top-notch build quality, and features that offer incredible value. From its durable deck made of maple, bamboo, and fiberglass to its powerful dual 1500 watt motors, the V10 delivers a smooth, versatile ride that rivals more expensive boards. Add in the customizable pulleys, airless tires, and double kingpin trucks for effortless carving, and you're looking at a board that punches well above its weight class. With thoughtful extras like built-in safety protections, a two-year warranty, and even a 30-day return policy, the V10 is easily one of the best value boards on the market. Before we get started, I've got an exciting giveaway for you. I'm giving away a $1,000 electric skateboard, a $500 e-scooter, and a full-face e-bike helmet. To enter, all you need to do is be subscribed to the channel and drop a comment below. Full details and entry instructions are in the comment section. Don't miss your chance to win. Honestly, I was fully prepared to tear this board apart before I even received it due to its low, low price. I came in expecting the typical corner cutting and cheap build quality, but the e Wheel V10 completely flipped my expectations. Right out of the box, this thing looked fantastic, and the packaging was spot on, everything was securely packed, and nothing felt like it was just thrown in as an afterthought. In fact, if someone had told me this was a $900 board, I would have believed them based on the presentation alone. The deck's paint job is smooth and uniform, with no signs of bubbling or imperfections on the grip tape. The motors are securely mounted, and they even come with a clean, well-done paint finish that gives the whole setup a premium feel. The anti-sync plates, which remind me of the old-school Meepo Hurricane, are a nice touch and add to the board's overall polished look. And let's not forget the battery enclosure. It's surprisingly well made with a metal ESC heatsink to ensure better heat dissipation, which is a big plus for longevity and performance. The plastic doesn't feel cheap or flimsy. Instead, it has a sturdy premium feel to it. From top to bottom, the V10 feels solid, like it's made from quality parts and well thought out materials. So far, this board hasn't just avoided disappointment. It's actually impressed me quite a bit. It's one of those rare moments when you go in expecting to nitpick flaws and instead find yourself nodding in approval. The motors on the V10 are dual 1500 watt, 63, 55 motors, and honestly, for their size, they punch way above their weight class. Now, I wouldn't go so far as to say they're on par with the high-powered premium motors from those top-tier wallet-crushing boards, but they're definitely a huge step up from the beginner-level stuff you find on entry-level models. If I had to rate them on a torque scale from 1 to 10, where 10 is, I hope you're holding on tight levels of torque, these would score around a 6.5. To put that in perspective, beginner board motors would hover around a 4, and premium beasts like the Meepo Voyager motors would hit a 9. So while you won't be breaking land speed records or leaving tire marks on the asphalt, these motors are far from slouches. They'll give you that satisfying boost of power without feeling like you're riding a souped up rocket ship, perfect for intermediate riders who want to step up their game. In other words, if you're looking for motors that won't leave you yawning on the ride, but also won't send you flying off the board, the V10 motors strike that balance nicely. These aren't for the faint-hearted beginner, but they're also not designed to take you into hyperdrive, just enough punch to keep things fun and fast without being overwhelming. The e Wheel V10 boasts a listed top speed of 32 miles per hour, and while I wasn't able to max it out completely, I managed to hit a solid 28 miles per hour on flat ground. Not too shabby, especially considering I'm pushing close to 200 pounds. The impressive part wasn't just the speed, but how quickly the board got there. It didn't feel sluggish in building up speed. The double kingpin DKP trucks really shine at higher speeds too, despite what some might expect from DKP trucks often known for 
for their carving ability rather than high speed stability, the V10 felt surprisingly solid and steady even when approaching the upper end of its speed range. Hitting those speeds with confidence is key and I have to say the V10 delivered. No wobbles, no jitters, just smooth sailing with a nice stable ride underfoot. If you're an experienced rider looking to hit some higher speeds, the V10 gives you the thrill without sacrificing control, which is always a win in my book. One glance at the remote and I immediately knew what was powering the board. The V10 runs on a Ling Yi ESC, capable of handling up to 40 amps of current. Typically, Ling Yi ESCs have a bit of a reputation for being jerky, but to my surprise, the V10 delivered a smooth power band throughout the entire acceleration curve. There was none of that sharp, unpredictable surging you sometimes experience with this type of ESC on other brands. It's clear that Eason Wheel has done some tuning to make sure the ride is refined and responsive, which is a relief if you've ever ridden a board with harsher Ling Yi controls. As for the battery, eSIM Wheel confirmed the cells are Dongmei 21, 700 cells with 4,500 milliampere hours of capacity. Now I'll be honest, I tried to dig up more information on these cells but came up empty handed. Dongmei doesn't ring any bells and I wasn't able to find much info on the brand. That said, eSIM Wheel also sells e-bikes in the US. US, which gives me some confidence. E-bike batteries in the US need to meet strict safety and certification standards. So if they're using these cells across both their boards and bikes, I bet they've been vetted for reliability and safety. The remote itself is on the larger side, which might feel bulky for some riders. But the upside to its size is that the buttons and controls are easy to handle, and you won't be fumbling around for the throttle or brakes. If you prefer something more compact, it could take some getting used to. But the larger remote design does have its advantages when it comes to grip and ease of use. The V10 is said to have a 583 watt hour battery, providing up to 28 miles of range. In my testing, the board carried me for about 18 miles before it slowed down to a pace no faster than a brisk walk, which isn't bad, but pretty much what I expected for a board in this price range. However, I did notice a noticeable voltage sag after the battery dropped below 40%, with the board feeling weaker and less punchy. Again, this is typical for electric skateboards at this price point, so it didn't come as much of a surprise. The battery is listed at 43 volts and 12.5 amp hours, but when I did the math, because yes, I'm that kind of nerd, multiplying those numbers gives you 537.5 watt hours, not the advertised 583 watt hour of capacity. After reaching out, they confirmed that this was a mistake on their website. The actual capacity is 13.5 amp hours, which aligns with the 583 watt hours claim. It's a minor issue but for any fellow number crunchers out there, this might save you some head scratching when things don't add up. The double kingpin trucks on the V10 aren't just great in terms of performance, but they're also thoughtfully designed for ease of use. One common annoyance with cheaper DKP setups is that the board side bushings are hard to reach unless you first remove the roadside ones. This usually means carrying around two different tools, which is a hassle when you're out riding. However, the V10's trucks are designed in such a way that you can adjust both the roadside and board side bushings with just a single T tool. It's a small but significant touch that shows the designers put some real thought into making the rider's experience as convenient as possible. When it comes to performance, turning on the V10 with these DKP trucks is a dream. The board handles carving beautifully, making tight, responsive turns that can sometimes make you forget you're riding a non-flexible deck. Unlike boards with flexible bamboo decks, the V10's bamboo deck is rigid thanks to the stiff battery box that's attached on the bottom. This means the deck won't flex with the road, but it also makes the board feel much more stable at higher speeds. The DKP trucks really step in to compensate for the lack of deck flex, providing all the agility and smooth turning you need. The end result is a ride that feels both rock solid at speed and fluid when carving, exactly what you'd hope for with DKP trucks. 
The deck construction on the V10 is impressive, consisting of eight layers of maple, one layer of bamboo, and one layer of fiberglass. This combination should result in a solid, durable deck that balances flexibility and strength. The inclusion of bamboo usually would add a slight amount of natural flex, while the fiberglass ensures durability and vibration dampening. But the deck isn't flexible due to the large, stiff battery enclosure mounted on the bottom. So all those specs are moot point, save for a slight tiny bit of vibration dampening. The deck also flares up slightly near the footwells, giving you better control during turns and carving without being so aggressive that it compromises comfort. It's just enough to lock your feet in for more precise control without feeling like your feet are stuck in a mold. I absolutely love the classic belt drive motor scream on this board. It's not overpoweringly loud, but it still gives you that satisfying hum when you hit the accelerator, just enough to let you know the board's ready to unleash some power. It's the kind of sound that makes the ride feel more dynamic and connected without being annoyingly noisy. It's like a soft roar of confidence as you cruise down the street, giving the ride a more engaging feel. The V10 only comes with a 2 amp charger, which, let's be honest, is pretty slow. On the bright side, slower charging is generally better for battery longevity, so you're trading speed for a longer lasting battery. However, it would have been nice if they offered an option for fast charging, especially for those times when you're in a rush and need to juice up quickly with a 13.5 amp hour battery, you're looking at nearly 7 hours to fully charge the board, which is quite a wait. It's clear this is one of the areas where the board cut costs so if you plan on doing more than 20 miles in a day, you might want to plan your charging breaks in advance. The LED strips on the V10 feels a bit like a last minute addition. They come with plenty different colors and motion patterns, and while they do look pretty cool if you're into that kind of vibe, they don't sync with the remote, which feels like a missed opportunity. But I guess in order to conserve cost, syncing with remote was skipped. Interestingly though, they're detachable. So if you're feeling creative, you can hang them on your backpack or even hold them while riding for some extra flair. It's like a DIY light show, just not as fancy as it could be. The tires on this board look almost identical to the airless tires used by Meepo. 6 inch high grip tires that really stick to the road and since they're airless you won't have to worry about getting a flat which is always a relief when you're riding hard or on rough terrain. Those holes you see in the tires aren't just for show either, they help reduce the weight of the tires which can actually boost the range of your board a bit. Plus, they act as natural vibration dampeners, softening the ride and giving you a smoother experience without sacrificing durability. You can definitely swap out the pulleys on the V10 to fit a wide range of wheels, whether it's ABEC, Kegel, or even other name brand all-terrain AT pulleys from different boards. This means you can go beyond the stock setup and experiment with various wheel hubs, including pneumatic wheels for those who want a more cushioned ride on rough terrain. The V10 offers a super versatile platform that allows you to really dial in your ideal ride, which is fantastic for any who likes to tinker or customize. The sheer flexibility of this setup is a huge plus, and it's exciting to see how much you can adapt the board to suit your riding style. At 29.5 pounds, the V10 falls right in line with other boards in its class. For example, the Tiny Explorer weighs about 30 pounds, so if you're used to handling boards in this weight range, the V10 won't feel any heavier. It's a manageable weight for a board with this much power and versatility, although you'll definitely feel it if you have to carry it for long distances. Still, it's a fair trade-off considering the performance and features packed into this board. This board is rated with an IP54 rating, meaning it's both dust and water resistant, so a light splash or drizzle won't be a problem. However, don't go mistaking it for a submarine. It's not built to handle heavy rain or deep puddles, and too much water exposure could lead to damage. As long as you're mindful of avoiding extreme conditions and give it a quick dry off after riding through wet spots, you should be good to go. The V10 comes equipped with handy safety features like short circuit alerts and overheating protection. If the board starts to overheat, it won't just lock up suddenly and risk throwing you off. Unlike some other boards out there, instead you'll get a warning. 
giving you a heads up before the board shuts down to protect itself from further damage. It's a thoughtful feature that prioritizes both your safety and the longevity of the board. One standout feature with the Essen Wheel V10 is the 30-day return policy, which is practically unheard of in the electric skateboard world. Most manufacturers don't allow returns once the box is opened. It's like the board becomes soul-bound to your account. Even big names like Evolve only offer a 7-day return window. Eason Wheel's 30-day policy shows serious confidence in their product. While there is a small restocking fee, it's still a huge advantage compared to the no-return policies most competitors have. Another big win is the two-year warranty that comes standard with the board. In an industry where many companies only offer six to nine months of coverage, this is a huge perk. Some brands even require you to pay extra for an extended second-year warranty, but Wheel includes it right out of the box. That shows a lot of confidence in their product, and it's a reassuring safety net for riders, especially if you're planning to ride your board hard over time. The Essen Wheel V10 genuinely surprised me with how much value it brings to the table. From the moment I unboxed it, the quality and design had me convinced it was from a higher price range. The sleek paint job, durable materials, and the solid performance from the dual 1500 watt 6355 motors all scream premium. The versatility with customizable pulleys, high grip airless tires, and easy to adjust double kingpin trucks adds even more value making it adaptable for various riding styles. What really shocked me was how much attention to detail went into the smaller features, like the built-in safety protections, the included LED light bars, and fact that it comes with a two-year warranty and a 30-day return policy, something typically reserved for much more expensive boards, further highlights how much you're getting for the price. Overall, the V10 delivers performance, versatility, and premium level design at a fraction of what you'd expect to pay, making this perhaps the best value budget 2-in-1 electric skateboard on the market today. If you enjoyed this review and found it helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more in-depth reviews, tips, and insights on the latest electric skateboards and personal electric vehicles. Your support really helps keep the content coming. If you're considering buying, feel free to use the affiliate links in the description. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it helps the channel grow so I can continue bringing you quality content. Thanks for watching and ride safe.